Okay, the two forces depicted here are uh, an Iraqi Republican Guard Brigade, Armoured Brigade, with um, supporting artillery groups, two supporting artillery groups. The American forces will be two American Heavy Brigade Combat Team Combined Arms Battalions, uh, supported by aircraft and quite a bit of off-board artillery. Now, as I've said in the previous video, this is sort of, it's semi-historical. There was a clash roughly in the area around Baghdad between these units, but it was a bit of a, well, it was a massacre, basically. Now, I'm tending to see whether the Iraqis can actually do anything here uh, to, to stop the Americans. Um, the biggest problem the Iraqis really have got is the, the fact that morale is shot. Um, uh, Iraq has been getting a terrible pounding from the air and uh, its forces are really badly disrupted. So the Iraqi um, unit capability is marginal, which is very poor. That means they're going to suffer from uh, negative effects on their rate of fire and from for poor morale roles and what as well so it means they're not going to have any sort of ability to stand fast or really to inflict casualties now on paper this republican guards division i haven't got any i've only got the infantry and the artillery deployed at the moment it's quite a formidable force with uh, 27 stands of uh, export issue t72s um, and a, uh, a small supporting infantry component, <laughs> they should be able to do, to do some damage to to the Abrams tanks on the American side because they've certainly got more tanks in this scenario. Um, uh, they're also defending, but. Another problem they've got is the American forces have got much better uh, morale and stuff like that. They, they're actually uh, their quality is excellent. The tank on the Allied side is the M1 A1 Abrams, which is just a much better vehicle than the T-72. It's it's faster, it's got better armour, it's got a better gun, it's got a better hitting range, it's got a higher rate of fire, it's also got advanced stabilisers, it's got thermal sights, and it's also got um, advanced battlefield communication systems. That means that each individual stand of tanks can function as a forward observer for artillery. So it should make an interesting battle this. I've always been curious as whether the Iraqis could have done anything to certainly impede the American attacks. Which which they didn't seem to be able to do, not even their best divisions were able to do, do anything. 